Hello, we are Team 5875, the Quarter Patch Kids from Ontario, Canada. Yay! Woo! Hello, we are Team 26362 Thundercats from Skillman, New Jersey. It's on a mission! From the Homeland, Wisconsin area. In the USA! Hello, we are Great Red Team from Brazil. Hey, we're Lego Legion from Cincinnati, Ohio. And this is Octavius. Hi, we're the Blue Jay Boss from Austin, Texas. Hello from Iowa! Hello from Across North Carolina. Hello from San Francisco. We are Hi, we're Team 5553 of Overdue from Living So Soon in France. Hi from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. We are so fast. Hi, we're Team 5940 Bread from Road Tours, California. Hello from Palio Robotics. Hello from Canada. Woo! Woo! Hi! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Hello from Ontario, Canada. Hello from Ontario, Canada. Hello from Ontario, Canada. Hello from Ontario, Canada. Hello, and welcome to the 2021 First Global Innovation Awards, powered by Star Wars, Force for Change. I'm Blair Hundertmark from FIRST, and I'm excited to be your host for today's culminating event. From FIRST headquarters here in Manchester, New Hampshire, 
A warm welcome to all our FIRST Global Innovation Award teams, sponsors and supporters all around the world. The Global Innovation Awards are an essential celebration of the FIRST community because innovation moves us forward. It creates opportunity, change, excitement and solutions to the world's toughest challenges. Learning how to innovate is a competency that will be essential for our future workforce. Our finalists today are leading and inspiring the next generation of innovators, entrepreneurs, problem solvers, and game changers. The Global Innovation Awards have been an exciting part of the first LEGO League landscape for 11 years and ensure that all students have a pathway to innovation. This year was expanded to include both FIRST Tech Challenge and FIRST Robotics Competition teams through the FIRST Innovation Challenge presented by Qualcomm. We went from 20 finalists to 60, and we are thrilled to have all programs represented this year. You'll get to know them over the course of this broadcast, and like us, are sure to be impressed with their ingenuity and creativity. This week, our top 60 teams spanned across a whopping 15 hours of different time zones with participating teams from all over the world. Let's take a moment to say a special congratulations to our finalist teams who hail from Brazil, Canada, Chinese Taipei, France, India, Israel, Mexico, Norway, Spain, Tunisia, and the United States. We also welcome back some former Global Innovation Award team runners-up who have all new team members in innovations as well as former FIRST LEGO League team members returning as part of FIRST Tech Challenge and FIRST Robotics Competition teams, proving that innovative minds never stop. And a special shout out to our two rookie teams competing as finalists. Never having been on a FIRST team before, nor even touched a robot, these teams met remotely and by fostering connectivity and vision, they prove the spirit and ethos of FIRST can always propel you to great accomplishments. As part of our first Game Changers, powered by Star Wars Force for Change season, teams from around the world have worked to identify and research a problem or opportunity to help people become more active through play or movement. Teams then designed and presented their innovations in front of expert judges. From preventing injury to athletes, recovering movement after illness, and ensuring sports are inclusive, we saw a sound use of technology and never before seen bold ideas. All teams validated their ideas and designs with professionals in STEM and learned how to value innovation impact. And the timing couldn't have been better. Innovation and science have always been tools that allow us to face adversity and propel humanity forward. We need the next generation of innovators equipped with STEM skills, tenacity, problem-solving confidence, and grounded in an ethos of inclusivity and teamwork now more than ever. FIRST programs for pre-K through 12th grade prepare students with these competencies, core values, and more. Game-changing innovators often bend or change the rules of the game as they push towards a brighter future, and the creativity of this year's 60 finalists testify to a limitless, inclusive, and better future led by these young minds. Just like our Global Innovation Awards teams, Disney Imagineers are creative problem solvers and storytellers who use their STEM savvy to envision the future. Their jobs are to imagine large-scale projects and manage immersive experiences with people at the center. This week, our young innovators received invaluable mentoring from Disney Imagineers and from employees from Lucasfilm and Industrial Light and Magic. So, a big thanks to Disney and Lucasfilm for all their support. And they're here with us today with a message for our 60 finalist teams.
Hi finalists! I can tell that you're learning already how to bring your vision to life and you will be so well prepared for writing your future story. I can't wait! It's really great to see that all participants have tried to find solutions for the problem faced by the people around them. These empathetic gestures could be the game changers for the future. You are a force for change. You're learning the skills that we need to help build a better future. You're learning how to be entrepreneurs, storytellers, game changers, innovators. Hello, 2021 First Global Innovation Awards finalists. It's incredible to see the impactful ideas you've come up with through collaboration and teamwork. Continue to collaborate, build on each other's knowledge, and learn from one another. At Disney, collaboration and learning from each other is key to what we do here. Every year, these projects get better and better, and they're always so inspiring. As you lead this journey and this process, I want you to remember three things. Stay humble, be a good listener, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Hi, First Teams. Thank you for being a force for change. You all are doing great things now, and I can't wait to see what you all are doing in the future. Just remember to keep asking those hard questions, developing ideas, and keeping an open mind to learning as you go. Have fun. Hello to this year's finalists. You all have done amazing to get to this milestone, the first Global Innovation Awards. By participating in this event, you're learning many of the business development tools and processes that we use here at Disney. The ideas, skills, teamwork and passion you exhibit while participating in the first Global Innovation Awards will serve you well as you continue to grow and develop into the minds of the future. Remember, be curious, ask questions, and keep learning. Congratulations! I am so impressed with all the finalists. We have overcome challenges with research and collaboration to create a more inclusive future. You are truly the force for change. These thoughtful and thorough inventions will directly impact and support your communities. I look forward to seeing you innovators continue to lead. The future is indeed very bright. Congratulations to this year's finalists. It's been a long road, but we are so excited for everything that you've accomplished. And the skills that you're learning through this competition are skills that we use every day, whether that's in problem solving, in presentation skills, in gracious professionalism, or teamwork. We're so excited to see everything that you are going to accomplish in the future, and we wish you a magical day. Congratulations on your accomplishments thus far. Continue challenging yourselves and leveraging the skill sets of the team members around you. All of you are a force of change, and the ideas being nurtured out of this event are going to have positive impacts to the world around us. The Disney team is rooting for all of you. Participating teams explore the invention and innovation process for solving real-world problems and making an impact. We're especially proud to extend innovation learning to First Tech Challenge and First Robotics Competition teams this year through the Innovation Challenge presented by Qualcomm. With the help of the Champion of the Invention Age, Qualcomm helped inspire and ensure that more FIRST participants than ever before are further developing their confidence, STEM skills, and are empowered to solve real-world problems, creating a better future for themselves and their communities. And they're just as impressed as we are by your creative solutions. Congratulations to all the FIRST Global Innovation Award teams. I am Barry Byford, a senior staff engineer from Qualcomm in the UK. We are honoured to have partnered with FIRST this year to bring you the FIRST Innovation Challenge. Qualcomm is a global company of inventors and we believe it is important to help all students understand how to make their ideas become a reality. I hope you have enjoyed developing your skills in design thinking, programming, manufacturing, business and marketing. In your designs after getting feedback from users and experts gives you the opportunity to better understand the process of entrepreneurship and innovation. The skills you have learned this year are the skills used every day by engineers all across the globe. 
At Polcom, we take pride in taking on some of the most complex problems to successfully create wireless solutions so we can all enjoy a more connected world. And the way you have found solutions to encourage movement, make exercise fun, accessible for all, is inspiring for us to see. By showing resilience to solve these problems, you are making you and your communities better. Showing us the creative ways you have solved these problems have given us hope for the future. Thank you all for the energy and time you have put into making this a great season. Today's finalists will be the drivers of tomorrow's breakthroughs and we cannot wait to see what you come up with next. We hope to see you back for next season in First Forward presented by Qualcomm. Today, for each program, we'll announce two runners-up and one winner. We'll also present nine business, impact, design, and implementation awards. And we'll announce the winner of the ever-popular Community Choice Award for each program. With the help from my student co-host, Mahek, we'll also hear from some young finalist innovators about their innovation process and get a first-hand experience of what the learning journey was like for their teams. We want to say thank you to all our mentors and workshop leaders this week. Your insights into real-world innovation cycles and product development showed our finalists that the work that they did this season uses the same innovation and design skills that you do in your real-world careers. And thank you to our Global Innovation Awards sponsors who are committed to STEM education, educating the next generation of innovators, and furthering the mission of FIRST in many ways. We are especially grateful to them for helping our remote event be both fun and educational for our finalist teams. So, thank you to our presenting sponsor, Star Wars Force for Change. Star Wars Force for Change is committed to providing inspiration and opportunity to the next generation of innovators and storytellers. By providing more young people with access to transformative programming, Star Wars Force for Change is helping today's youth develop the skills they'll need to create the futures they imagine. We thank Disney for providing a plethora of expert mentoring for our teams and for inspiring us at every turn with creative, real-world problem-solver models. Our partners Innovation, Booz Allen Hamilton and LEGO Education. Booz Allen Hamilton has supported the Global Innovation Awards for 10 years and enabled the entrepreneurial education and pitch coaching for our teams provided by business incubator SeedSpot. To our friends at LEGO Education, thank you for another year of tremendous support and for your day in and day out partnership. And now our Global Innovation collaborators, Collins Aerospace and John Deere, who have each been sponsors for many years. Thank you to Collins Aerospace for providing mentors and role modeling cool AI and avionics careers. And thank you to John Deere for a year of remarkable volunteer engagement and for being a key sponsor of the first innovation challenge presented by Qualcomm. And big thanks to Qualcomm for enabling First Tech Challenge and First Robotics Competition to participate this year through their participation in the first innovation challenge. Also, thank you to the United States Patent and Trademark Office for coordinating with us and ensuring our students know how intellectual property is an important part of innovation. Thanks to all the sponsors. And a special thanks to our new media partner, Cheddar News, for helping us make it loud by presenting the Young Innovators Series. And in order to make our business model align with our values of making an impact, which is also a value of FIRST, we decided to register as a benefit corporation. And this allows us to prioritize impact alongside profit. And now let's catch up with some innovative FIRST LEGO League teams from the past. 
Team FS Ingenium from the Navarra region of Spain won the 2018 Global Innovation Award for their invention, the Hydro Ball. It's a soil measuring device that's buried in the ground and transmits water availability data to farmers to help them assess watering schedules for their crops. Good morning. We are FS Ingenium team and we are the creators of the Hydro Ball. A couple of years ago, we took part in the Global Innovation Awards competition, where we had the chance to share our project with the rest of the world. As you may know, that year's science had to do with water. When we learned that more than 70% of world fresh water was being used in the agronomical sector, and that more than half of it was being wasted due to inefficient irrigation, we decided that we had to come up with a solution for that. The Hydro Ball is a device that integrates a double sensor which detects how much water is available for the farm, allowing the farmer to know exactly how much to irrigate, leading to minimal water waste. But the Hydro Ball has grown a lot ever since. Now, we want to tell you our story. The first step was to create a space that would allow us to work on an independent and agile way. So we assembled an amazing electronics laboratory in which we have all that we need to develop all stages of the ball so that we can be 100% autonomous. One of the biggest updates that we have ever done in the hydro world was to change the materials of the hydro world from natural clay to stronger synthetic ceramics that we cook in our own oven. We designed from scratch a completely innovative motherboard. All its functions have been specifically designed for the purpose of assembling the hydro ball using our own CNC machine. We no longer use Arduino, instead we use a 32-bit processor with a much more sophisticated software. With only one device we can measure both humidity and texture, and we can send data autonomously. We have a brand new, beautiful design that will appeal not only the original mind of the producer, but also the taste of the individual consumer. This version of the Hydro is our prototype number 4, and it's going to be fully functional by the end of this month. Our advice to you is that you should look for an idea which will result in a long-term project. You should know that with passion and hard work, you can achieve your dreams. Now, go and enjoy your project. And even further down the production pipeline is FIRST LEGO League Team and Xtreme from New Hampshire, United States. For over 12 years, they've been working on their business and app called Pickup Patrol, which is a scheduling and student attendance app now used across the United States and abroad. Let's check in with them. Hi there, we are original members of the NX Stream team, a first LEGO League team from Mont Vernon, New Hampshire. In 2009, we invented a product as part of First Smart Move Challenge. The Smart Move Challenge asked teams to solve a transportation problem in their communities. Our inspiration came from a situation that happened at our own elementary school. One of our team members' little brother got off the bus at the wrong stop. His mom had sent a note, but it was lost along the way. He was missing for several hours, causing panic for the school and his parents. He ended up making it home safely, but it revealed a concerning problem with the school's dismissal process. Our solution is called Pickup Patrol. It's a web application that helps kids get home safely from school. Through our app, parents submit changes to their children's dismissal plans, eliminating the need for the school to track notes and phone calls. Our system automatically compiles the information and notifies the staff, so everyone knows where each student should be at the end of the day. Our school started using our app, and it was so successful we were asked to implement it with the rest of the district. Parents and schools love how easy it is to use and the peace of mind it brings to dismissal time. From there, we decided to expand our reach. We participated in a business accelerator program to learn how to take our idea to market. Our product continued to gain attention, winning several competitions, including a trip to the White House Science Fair. Pickup Patrol has been in business since 2014. We now work with schools across 33 states and have since gone international. We have over 240,000 users across our platform and have processed over 11 million plan changes. What started as a simple idea when we were just 11 years old has now become a profitable business, providing us with full-time jobs as adults. Six of the original team members are part of the company today. It's amazing to see how this product that we invented over 10 years ago is making a real difference in school communities today. FIRST has given us the opportunity to stretch our imaginations, learn essential life skills, and most importantly, has given us the confidence to make a positive contribution to our community. 
What an inspiration to all first teams that once you have the skills and drive to make an impact, that journey never has to end. Now that we've checked in with some past innovators, let's meet some young innovators from this year's teams. Here to lead a discussion on their approach to creating solutions to tough problems is first student host Mahek from FIRST Robotics Competition Team 4939 in Ontario, Canada. Hi Mahek. Hi Blair, it's great to be here. I'm excited about this panel because these innovations are all really impressive. Once again, teams didn't shy away from the big difficult problems. They tackled injury prevention in sports like ACL tears and proper running gait, and they found ways to combine staying active with big fun. I saw a ton of solutions that found use of data. And many teams focused on inclusivity, ensuring that sports were fully accessible to visually impaired and differently abled individuals. There's also some really cool tech used in these designs, such as machine learning, AI, material science, electric pulses and nerves, you name it. These students applied advanced technology to new problems. Well, Mahek, you've got three of our innovators standing by, so let's meet them. Welcome, Edeli from First Tech Challenge Team 1197 in New York City. Hi, it's nice to be here. And joining us from Brazil is Anna Sofia from Team Sessi Big Bang. Hi, everyone. And finally, from First Robotics Competition Team 4586, Primo in Israel is Omar. Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you. There is no one way to innovate or problem solve. Different teams have different approaches, which we'll be discussing in our panel today on innovation and the innovation process. Edeli, let's start with you. Can you briefly tell us what your team's innovation is and how your process began? So our innovation is called West and it uses conductive fabric clothing to generate muscle stimulation and improve blood circulation in wheelchair users. Uh, the first thing we did when coming up with this innovation was to actually uh, target the problem. So we identified the problem. So after identifying our design inputs and doing some sketches, some uh, 3D models, we have not actually been able to build an actual working prototype, but we do hope to do this in the future. That is so exciting, and I'm really excited to hear more about your innovation. Omar, how about you? Okay, so our innovation project was the Easy Motion Wheelchair. It is basically a simple office chair with a special mechanism which allows smooth movement in small spaces. So it's a regular office chair with different sets of wheels and motors with a joystick that the user can actually move around freely in 360 degrees to all places very smoothly and it's much more cost efficient than a regular um, than a regular wheelchair. That sounds so cool. I love how all teams really thought of inclusivity when thinking about their innovations. Anna Sophia, what about you? At the beginning of season, we created the big thinking method, which is divided in five steps. Explore, think, innovate, realize, and implement. Containing all the research steps for identification to implementation of the solution. This helped us organize the research process of have and have ideas. We identified the problem of fibromyalgia. My mother has a syndrome, and it was a very hard to me see her having difficulties to daily activities because of the pain. When I talked to the team, we researched more about the problem and used several methods, such as open space to include ideas and Lego series play methods, with through Lego blocks we are able to create solutions based on them stimulating creativity. Omar, I was wondering if your team interviewed or observed your end user during any part of your process. Actually, we have. During the, after we finished the first prototype, um, we got in touch with an IDF, IDF veteran who got uh, impaired physically during his, um, during his military service. So we got in touch with him and we asked for his feedback. We let him test out the chair. He actually got very excited and even get up, gave us a few feedback and improvements. One thing that made me really happy about it was that in five seconds, he learned how to um, ride the chair like a pro. Like five seconds is all it took for him to understand how everything works. And it was, he said it was very intuitive for him, which is one goal that we're trying to achieve. Um, but I was wondering if you could tell us how you made sure innovation would have the impact that you designed it to have. 
First of all, we interviewed more than 15 professionals during our process of development of FIGLOV, who helped us to reach the best designs, prototypes, and ideas to solve these problems. We thought about all points of improvement, and because of that, we developed the four FIGLOV versions until we got to the final version. It's incredible to see the improvement of my mother's quality of life because now she's able to do simple daily activities. Thinking that our project might impact many other people and it's really amazing. So Edelie, I'd love to hear more about what skills or experiences you're planning on taking away from this year's first innovation challenge. So I would say that before uh, the innovation challenge, our team really didn't think that much about the business side of robotics. I feel like we were always uh, thinking about uh, the technology uh, part. And with the innovation challenge, I feel like we learned more about the business side and we were able to practice that more. Like we were able to uh, think about our target market. So Omar, as you know, the first innovation challenge was definitely new this year for first robotics competition and the first tech challenge. I would love to learn more about what skills or experiences you learned and what you're planning on taking away. Um, so during this innovation season, we had a major breakthrough in terms of outreach and marketing. This is a thing that our team has been struggling with for the past couple of years, getting resources and getting new mentors. And this, was, this season was definitely a breakthrough in that sense. If you asked me two years ago if, um, if our team would do something amazing well, everybody was at home and we wouldn't see each other face to face, I would laugh at your face probably. But I think that after this year, we are ready for anything. I'm so inspired by everything that your teams have created over the past year, the challenges that you've faced and how you've really shown resilience and overcome. Best of luck to everyone and back to you, Blair. Great stuff. Thanks, Mahek and panel. And a reminder that the skills our students learn while innovating with FIRST is not just fun, but it builds a lifelong critical thinking and problem-solving foundation that can be applied in a multitude of STEM and innovation career pathways. Speaking of lifelong innovators, it's now my pleasure to introduce an inventor who knows a thing or two about innovating, about perseverance, and about tackling big challenges. Please welcome FIRST founder, Dean Kamen. Hello to all the teams participating in the Global Innovation Awards. I think you already know that FIRST is a big, big believer in innovation. I don't know that you can teach people to innovate, but you can certainly foster innovation. You can encourage innovation. You can give kids the tools by which they can innovate. And FIRST, from the day we started it, was there to show all kids how exciting it would be to be able to use technology to innovate, to solve critical problems that the world, particularly the next generation, is going to be facing. Whether it's global warming, food supply, communication, cybersecurity, healthcare, all the aspects of human life will need more and more and more and better and better and better technology so that we can all live and share a better world. I hope this award ceremony isn't the end of what you're doing with FIRST, but the beginning of what will be a very, very exciting and rewarding future of being the leaders in the FIRST community to show by example how innovation is fun, how it's accessible, and how it's critical to solving the problems that your community and this world has. I can't wait to see you all back next year screaming from the top of your collective first voices that we are here to change the world through innovation. Thanks, Dean. And thanks to all of you for changing the world through better innovation. For the past three days, our 60 teams have been meeting with experts to learn about entrepreneurship, user experience design, marketing, intellectual property, 
and took a look behind Star Wars Galaxy's Edge while building community through a number of social events and networking opportunities. During this interactive online learning experience, their innovations were also judged remotely. Teams have been sharing videos of prototypes and how their projects worked, as well as team stories and regional recipes from their virtual pit space. And in the spirit of first, they had fun with Team Spirit Day, Meme Day, and Get Moving Day. Students emerged from their Global Innovation Awards experience encouraged and prepared with the know-how to deepen their projects and share that knowledge with their first communities at home. The ability to communicate an idea clearly is an important skill in innovation, so teams also received valuable mentorship in business pitch development. As teams vied for a spot as one of the top 20 in their program, they were judged by hundreds of volunteer experts from the first community and from sponsor representatives. Over the past three days, we had judges led by judge advisors ensure all the team's work and materials were evaluated to crown our awardees and winners. Thank you to our first Global Innovation Awards sponsors for providing engineers, product designers, and business experts to judge this year. And judges, thank you for your time and your dedication. And now, it's time to present the awards. We'll start by announcing the awards by program and then announce the Community Choice Award for each program, and finally, bring in a special guest to present our first Global Innovation Runners-Up and Winners. To present the first group of awards, please welcome the three first program directors, Kim Weirman from First Lego League, Ken Johnson from First Tech Challenge, and Frank Merrick from the First Robotics Competition. Thanks, Blair. I have to say it's been a real joy watching the innovation project grow to include both First Tech Challenge and First Robotics Competition teams and seeing former finalists return with new innovations. After 10 years, it feels like we've shared the best kept secret at first. And we're so glad you did. Sharing is caring, and I know that our teams really enjoyed the innovation challenge. And it was a fantastic compliment to our annual game challenge. I think so too. Our teams loved it. And we heard reports that the much younger first Lego League teams who had prior Global Innovation Award experience were actually assisting the older teams, helping them to get started in the challenge. That cross-program interaction was great. We saw that too, Frank. But hey, we're here to present some awards. So let's get on with it. Kim, do you want to start? Let's do it. I'll begin by announcing the Innovation Impact, Implementation, and Create Awards for the First Lego League finalist. The Innovation Impact Award goes to the team whose solution demonstrated how their innovation makes life better for its user. And congratulations go to team number 5875, the Cordo Patch Kids from Oakville, Ontario, Canada. The next award is the Implementation Award. The Implementation Award is for the team that excelled by considering multiple factors for how they could implement their innovation and confirm the feasibility of its implementation with professionals. And congratulations go to Team 44949 Robotillers from Bedford, Indiana, USA. The next award is the CREATE Award. The CREATE Award is for the team that verified the ideas and design for their innovation across multiple steps in their development process. And congratulations go to team number 33017, Panda Power from Los Altos, California, USA. Congratulations to all the finalists and our award winners. Ken, are you ready to present the First Tech Challenge Awards? I am, let's roll. I'll be announcing the Business Model, Innovation Impact, and Design Awards for the First Tech Challenge teams. The first award is the Business Model Award. The Business Model Award goes to the team that had a distinct value proposition for their innovation and detailed, comprehensive, and feasible business model. They considered their model from multiple perspectives, including how it could be implemented and validated their business model with experts. And congratulations go to team 18025 BSRC Mad About Robots from Pune, Maharashtra, India. 
Our next award is the Innovation Impact Award, which is for the team that excelled by tangibly demonstrating and measuring the compelling impact their innovation will have by making life better for its user. And congratulations for that award go to team 16884 Mechanical Advantage from San Diego, California, USA. The next award is the Design Award. The Design Award goes to the team that excelled with a reliable, effective design for their innovation that accounted for the experience of the user and showed both innovation and sound use of technology. And congratulations for this award go to team 16656 Thunderbots from Granite Bay, California, USA. Great job to all the finalists and to our award winners. Frank, how about presenting the first robotics competition awards? I am ready. And now we'll be announcing the business model, innovation impact and design awards for the first robotics competition teams. The first award is the business model award and congratulations go to team 7480 Machine Mavericks from Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Our next award is the Innovation Impact Award. And congratulations go to Team 8621 Kids Angels FRC Akola Team from Akola, Maharashtra, India. And finally, the Design Award. And congratulations go to Team 3792 Army Ants from Columbia, Missouri, USA. Congratulations to all the finalists and award winners. And now it's time for the Community Choice Awards. So back to you, Blair. Thanks, Frank. And thanks to Kim and Ken as well. The Community Choice Awards were voted on by you based on the pitches that our top 60 teams made for their innovations. And you spoke up loud and clear. I'll announce the winners by program. The Community Choice Award for the first LEGO League program is Team Sessi Biotech from Barra Bonita, Sao Paulo, Brazil, and their innovation, Move Bag. The Community Choice Award for the First Tech Challenge program is Team 18,025 BSRC Mad About Robots from Pune, Maharashtra, India, and their innovation, Stunner. And the Community Choice Award winner for the first robotics competition program is Team 7563, Sessi Senai Megazord from Jundai, Sao Paulo, Brazil, and their innovation, Personal Robot. And finally, it's time to announce our runners-up and winners. And here to present those awards is Walt Disney Imagineer, Dave Crawford. Thanks, Blair, and hello to everyone watching the Global Innovation Awards. My name is Dave Crawford, and I'm with Walt Disney Imagineering, where I lead the Ride Development Engineering Team. I could not be more excited to be here, and I want to congratulate all of today's teams, not only for empowering innovation, but for stretching their imagination with skills in creativity, innovation, and moving us towards a better future. Whether you're developing a device to help with a visually impaired exercise safely, an all-terrain sled, or an app for your insole, you've been stretching the possibilities of science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And building the basic skills to allow you to become the next generation of innovators, entrepreneurs, and heroes. At Walt Disney Imagineering, we use innovation every day to build and design new attractions for our guests. We collaborate on light, large teams with mathematicians, technologists, engineers, and artists. And we know how challenging it can be to bring new ideas to life. It takes perseverance and grit and seeing those ideas all the way through to the end when they're a real thing. You all have developed creative solutions to help your communities and make the world a better place. The thoughtfulness, inclusiveness, and impact on your innovations to make a world a better place makes you all a force for change. It is such an honor to celebrate these teams today. 
their creativity in solving specific problems relevant to their communities is absolutely inspirational. At Disney Imagineering, we say happy people make the world a better place. And all of you have taken the time and energy to innovate in ways that make your communities a better place. I wanna acknowledge everyone that participated in this program and made it to this point. This experience will serve you well as you move forward in your education and your career. All right, now on to the important part, the winners. May I have the envelope, please? Oh boy, all right, thank you. Go smash something. Okay, all right. We are going to start with the first LEGO League teams. These teams were judged across four categories, problem identification, innovation impact, development process, and implementation. The runners up in no particular order. First off, sliding into the top three was not hard for this team. Congratulations, team 8404, team not found from New Hamburg, Ontario, Canada. All right, let's meet our next runner up for the first Lego League. Learning they were in the top three will keep this team light on their feet. Congratulations, team 2751, Lego Legion, Cincinnati, Ohio, United States. Okay, moving on to the first tech challenge and the first robotics competition. These teams were judged across five categories problem or opportunity identification, their business model, their design, their innovation impact, and their project pitch. Let's meet the, the runners up for the first tech challenge first. This team really flexed its muscles, ensuring that physical therapy patients never deviate from their recovery plans. I'm talking, of course, about team 16457, team deviation. Congratulations from Aurora, Illinois, United States. Our next runner up for the first tech challenge, their solution is not from outer space, but solves real world problems. Congratulations, team 18368, Team Alien from Greendale, Wisconsin, USA. All right, for the first robotics competition, our first runner up, this team is supporting the open source community in improving healthcare. They utilize state-of-the-art technology and a deep learning algorithm to help visually impaired individuals walk on the sidewalk in their local community. Congratulations, Team 8, Pali Robotics from Palo Alto, California, United States. Our next first robotics competition runner-up, this team created a product that impacts half of our worldwide population. Their empathy and research related to women wanting physical activity during menstruation, where fatigue, soreness, and nausea can prevent them from engaging in sports, is as useful as their team name. Congratulations, Team 5940, Team Bread from Redwood City, California, USA. And now the moment everyone has been waiting for, the winners of our 2021 First Global Innovation Awards powered by Star Wars Force for Change. The winning teams will now have the opportunity to see their ideas become reality through two exclusive opportunities. The first of which is a design review with John Deere's Global Product Engineering Team. The second being a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Collins Aerospace Technical Fellow and retired astronaut, Dan Burbank. Of course, they'll have to make time for these events in between their private remote National Air and Space Museum planetarium show, but I'm sure that they'll find time. This is courtesy of Booz Allen Hamilton. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the winners of the first Global Innovation Awards. Let's start with the first Lego League. We have to hand it to this team who took this challenge and made it personal. Crowning them, the top innovators fits like a glove. Congratulations to Team Ceci Big Bang from Sao Paulo, Brazil. With the first balance, we have learned to look at their world with more empathy. 
because we made a social partnership and we applied the SDGs. With Fudge, we can create and build the best place in the world. To around our social actions, that talks about technology, fighting hunger and racism. And today, with the Global Innovation Award, this is much more than just a dream. It is the reality we are building for the next generation. Moving on to the first tech challenge. This team comes to us from a galaxy far, far away. Who else could it be? But Team 14725 Java the Huts from Fort Myers, Florida, United States. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! We were inspired by the Iowa Mentorship Foundation here in Fort Myers. Currently, they're building a community garden and would eventually like to have pathways connecting sensory playgrounds. With our innovation, this is now a possibility. And the winner of the first robotics competition. Simple, elegant, useful, and impactful were keys to their success. We're so happy you could trigger Victor and so many others to walk without freezing. Congratulations, Team 5553, Robo Leon from Neuroville, Sorson, Rhone, France. Our innovation walk assistant aims to restore mobility to the 4 million people suffering from the freezing symptom due to Parkinson's disease. It creates the inability to walk. But the projection of lines on the floor of our solution will simulate an obstacle and allow the patient to move. Amazing. Congratulations to all the teams that participated today. It's been such a pleasure being involved with this amazing event, and I hope you all keep on innovating. With that, I'm going to send it back to you, Blair. Whoa, I got to go. Thanks, Dave, and a well-deserved congratulations to all the teams. It was a year of many firsts, a year where innovation, community, and collaboration were more necessary than ever. These first teams and the first community have demonstrated how teamwork and creative solutions can make an impact for one person, a community, and the future. We're excited to see how teams come together and continue to solve real-world problems in the new transportation-inspired robotic season, First Forward, presented by Qualcomm. In case you missed the reveal, here's another sneak peek. Transportation, to me, on many different levels, represents freedom. If you could innovate to change someone's life, what would you deliver? If your dreams could appear before you, what would they look like? What innovations would you like to see take flight? Are you ready to explore the unknown? How would you go? Where would you go? And where would you land? If you want to go fast, go alone. But when you want to go far, go together. Today's kids that embrace technology will raise the bar and make better forms of transportation more energy efficient, more cost effective, faster, and capable of dealing with whole new environments that we can only dream about. We need you. Together, we're driving first, forward. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. I can't wait for that. Now, team registration is already open. Are you ready? Full speed ahead. As we wrap up this season and look ahead to First Forward for the upcoming season, if you have the capacity to give further, we hope you'll consider making a donation to support the continuation of FIRST programs for future generations to come. Your continued support of FIRST ensures that our programs will remain available for all young people when and where we're needed now and into the future. From myself personally and all of us at FIRST, thank you. I'm Blair from FIRST, sending out a final congratulations and thanks to all our finalists, sponsors, special guests, and all the amazing teams for leading the next generation of innovators, being forces for change, and working together to build a better future. Thanks for joining us today, and congratulations to all of you for such a successful year. Stay innovative. Until next season, thanks for making first, first.